comments on tonight's game? Well, I <clears throat> I thought that the exhibition game did what we wanted it to do. We wanted to get a lot of people playing time uh, in some uh, in some different situations. Different people play different positions. We had to play without uh, Ariel, and I thought that was good. I thought Andre got us off to a pretty good start. Uh, very pleased with our uh, freshmen and what they did. Overall, we. We did some good things, but we can be so much better. Was not very happy with us the first half as far as our defense. We're getting into foul trouble, and that's just that's just playing with our, our feet and, and, and not our hands. So a lot's going to come from this. We're going to watch the tape, and this is a chance for us to see us on the field and get back. And that's what this is all about. We, we, we got so much to do. And, in a, a short time to when we open up regular season. Uh, Holly, did, uh, did you think about it to, to be there on the bench and, and, and Pat being in the stands? Did, did, did that hit you at all or were you into, too, into the game? Well, I, I tell you, Don, when it hit me was when I, when I, I she wasn't there for the pregame, so I, you know, I didn't, I walked out and saw her sitting behind the bench, so yeah. I thought it was it was at first very very strange, but um, then I had to snap back into it and get back into reality and understand what I'm what I'm doing and why I'm here. So it, it was different, but it, it's it's Tennessee basketball and it's it's what I've been doing and, and what I've been trained to do. So I I had a little brief moment, and then I had to come on back to reality. Holly, could you talk about um, Grace and Jones, particularly of the freshmen? They, they both look like they had really good good nights, good productive nights. They, well, I thought Bashara had she had a double. She had a double double. Had 15 and, and 17 points, and I thought at the beginning of the game she was pressing and a little nervous. But Bashara plays hard, and I mean, you, you've got to have some kind of effort if you have 15 rebounds. And I tell you, Jasmine Jones was does not disappoint me every time I watch her play. She was six for six and Dean made the comment that, you know, Jasmine hadn't missed a shot and by that time she missed one, so I blame him and Jane he jinxed her. But uh, both those two, they're, they're just, they're athletic and both of them can play multiple positions and that's what I, I love about them. So I, I thought their effort was there and I think they can get so much better. And could, you know, Andrea started the game didn't have any points, but I thought she did some good things for us, and, and, and Nia, Nia Moore showed some very good signs on the defense, and, and offensively did some good things as well. So that, that's what I wanted. I wanted them to get a lot of playing time, all the freshmen, and, and I think they did. Coach, even though it was an exhibition game, were there nerves at all? Were you nervous at all before a tip-off? Myself? Yeah. No, I was not. I was not. I, I was trying to get us in a game-like atmosphere and, and get prepared to play. I think some of the players were, but I think once the ball went up and, and we started playing, I think the, the numbers went out. No, I, I, I was actually, I was anxious to get this game going just to get the start, the season started and, and see where we were, not so much me coaching, but see where our team was and, and where, we, where we are and where we need to go. Holly, I know all coaches prefer to have really experienced players but is there an exciting quality to having this newness and, and these young players and, and basically a new starting lineup and not knowing what to expect maybe? John, that's a great question. It, there is. There's a, there's a newness about the, that I like. And as you said, we don't have a lot in. We have a, we have a man defense in. Normally we would, we would have a, we'd play zone, press. We, we don't have everything in right now, and that's by design because these young ladies, we're trying to teach them the fundamentals, and and, and, and they don't have bad habits. When you get new, when you get new kids, they don't have. You try to teach them the fundamentals and get it right before, when they first get here, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, but I will say this about the group: for the most part, they work hard, and, and that's been my biggest concern: is are we going to continue? Are we going to play hard? And I thought that tonight, at times, we. we we miss a shot, and that would affect our defense. And that's what I'm trying to get, get away from. I'm trying to make sure that that um, we understand we're going to make mistakes, but then we got to go back and play defense. 
So as long as they play hard and give the effort, and I think this group does for the most part, I, I'm, I'm going to be pleased. Holly, what do you think was the biggest culprit with the foul? And was it reaching? Was I think our hand, we're playing with our hands and not our feet. I think we're, we're, we're putting, we're, we're touching people and, and the officials are, especially at the beginning of the year, they're, they're watching that. So we, we've got to, we've got to get better at playing with our feet and uh, stop entirely too many fouls. I mean, I, I was trying to figure out who, who to play. We, we're getting close to, to not having people play and, and close to being, to foul out. So. Holly, you. The second half, you know, it seemed like finally you guys tired out Parks and Women. And not being big this year, you feel that's going to be your identity. You got to make sure you know, play, go deep into your bench, just yeah, we, tempo style of play. We're, we're going to have to grind it out because we don't have the experience that we've had over the last couple of years. So we, we've got to score on our defense, and we've got to grind. We've just got to grind it out. We've got to get. We've got to got to be in shape. We've got to outwork people. We've got to be out. Can be out uh, better conditioned. So. Yeah, I, I think we did wear our Carson and that's what we have to do with our opponents. We've just got to wear them down and keep coming at you and keep coming at you. And we're not there yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, Ariel, you, this, this has been a regular season game with Ariel been healthy enough to play. I don't know if that's a precautionary thing. Or yeah, I, Ariel just was tender in her Achilles and just felt like rest would be great for her. And we're just resting her up for the beginning of the regular season. So you that, got, that was my call. and, and I, I wanted her to rest, and I wanted Andre to get the opportunity to start and get that experience. You guys got a lot of offensive boards, but some of that was the missed shots. Against the taller team, that's going to be a one and done. Is that something you want to clean up, making those shots on the front end? Well, yeah, I'd love to shoot 100%. <laughs> I won't, I won't what was it with Bashara, Izzy? What were they doing, just rushing at times? Because they I get to the rim. And, okay. And, uh, you know, it's just some little things we've got to correct. Um, at least we're, we're in the position to, to put ourselves in a position to score. We've got to finish, and yeah, we, and, we just. And Andrea, she had five assists, but does she know she can shoot the ball? Does she, does she realize that it's well, okay? She will know it's now. okay she to. Know it's she okay to shoot the ball. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she's she's under, she's trying to get everybody in the right position right now, and and trying to be what she thinks the best leader in the point guard can be. But yeah, I think Andrea understands that she can shoot it and, and we'll address that. But I, I was just pleased with her leadership and how she directed the team. And, and uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's going to be an outstanding player for us. Coach, um, in terms of takeaways from this exercise, could you share with us what three things you are happiest with and what three things you think are the most important to demand attention? Well, three things I, would, I was happy with was, um, obviously, we won the basketball game, number one. Uh, Two, everybody got a lot of, of, of playing time. I was really pleased with that. And uh, I, I thought I thought for the most part um, we played hard. You know, and then for the three things I wasn't con I was concerned about was because we didn't play hard all the time. So pleased with what we did, but probably what we didn't do, we didn't play hard all the time. Way too many fouls. Just entirely too many fouls. Um, and thirdly, probably we gave up 12 offensive rebounds. They had 32 rebounds. So we can get better on the on, on the boards. Uh, we can get better defending, and obviously we can we can play out of our mistakes and play hard all the time. Did you like the way they pushed the tempo? I love how they pushed it. We can. I loved how we pushed the tempo. We just got to do it more often. And oh. I want us to score more in the break. I don't want us to, to have to come down and set up and run an offense and and. Um, but I don't want to quick shoot the ball either. I want to make sure we get a good look at a transition. And that's 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 hard to determine. And that just comes with repetition and, and game practice and, and preparation. Did you give the kids any like um, goals um, that they were supposed to be working on over the summer? This summer? Yes, ma'am. My goal was for them to get in the gym and, and just play the game. Work on uh, what they felt like they needed to work on. Uh, get shots up, uh, stay in condition. So I, I didn't have specific goals for them, but I wanted to make sure that uh, they worked on their weaknesses and then got shots up. And I wanted them to play pickup. I didn't want them to always just go get in the gym and, and shoot. I wanted them to try to simulate some game like uh, opportunities for them. So. Uh, you said the, 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 the,
media day, you know, the starting lineup's not set. So today when you're watching your team, the rotation of substitutes and all, that really doesn't mean much right now, does it? No, it doesn't. And, and we're going to start, a t we're, we'll start a different group uh, on Sunday. We're just trying, I'm just trying to get a feel for them. And, and what I really want to do is see who plays well together. And we're trying to keep up with that and, and understand who, you know, who, who's our best offensive teams, who's our best defensive teams, who's, you know, what group is going to, uh, who doesn't turn it over at, at crucial times, or which, so it's all those aspects of what I'm looking for. So we'll start a different lineup on, on Sunday. So I'm just trying to look for, as you said, rotation and see who, who fits in what, and really it's about combinations of who plays together.